Hi, it's uh, John again, ex Boozand. It's currently 5.30. Uh, this morning, the first thing I saw was a text from my mum telling me to take small steps today um, and that she loved me. Uh, my mum, who's concerned about my current mental health state, uh, and uh, prior to sitting down on this very bench earlier on today at half past one, uh, I also had a conversation with my mum and uh, told her that I was off to see my psychologist later. And again, she said, you know, just take, take, it, take care and look after yourself. I say it's half past five now. I sat down on this bench at half past one. Um, and I was going to do a vlog about something else, but we'll come back to that. Um, I've just got back from Birmingham. Um, when I sat down earlier on at half past one, uh, a person came up to me on the bench. I'm not going to say, I'm going to try not to say anything about them, whether they're male, female, or whatever. Came up to me on the bench and uh, we started talking. Uh, they were obviously in a, in a, a vulnerable situation. Um, and it's took me, a vulnerable person who's got mental health issues herself, to get that person a roof over their head. Me. Nobody else, me, Dudley Council, plus up Dudley, were brilliant, absolutely brilliant. I've, I've now seen the system um, work, and it does work, and it can work. But also what I'd say is that this person would not have been able to do all the different things that they've had to do today without support from somebody else. They would have... Well, they would have continued their day in a vulnerable way and probably would have ended the evening um, sleeping rough, getting into trouble, getting hurt or whatever. This isn't good enough. It's not good enough. People should have some dignity, should be able to have some dignity. And going into different Dudley offices and them giving them numbers and sending them away saying they can't help them through certain situations and all that bollocks. Help them, help them now, get them something sorted. It's took me, again, this person would have been very vulnerable and I, I hate to say it, but if it hadn't been for me, I've had to cancel a, a psychology appointment. I'm now gonna spend the evening bouncing off the walls because I just can't wrap my head around how ridiculous this bloody country is. People need to be given some dignity. People in a vulnerable situation cannot get their way over to Dudley from Hales Owen, get from Dudley to Birmingham, Birmingham to Hales Owen, go into different council offices and give details over and over and over again. Uh, come away with us a list of numbers to phone around. Uh, it's it's a disgrace, and I just I you know uh, I'm going to put a link back down to uh, what a journey at the bottom of this is uh, one of my most recent posts on the blog, and I'll be doing another vlog soon about another subject. But in order for this person to get a roof over their head tonight, it's it, they've had to be chaperoned and helped by somebody who has mental health issues themselves and it's just a disgrace these when you're in a vulnerable situation when you when you whether you're mentally ill or whether you're an addict or whatever you are not going to be able to make the phone calls you are not going to be able to understand the the things that you've got to do you're not going to have the money to get on the bus to get up Dudley and then the bus to get up Birmingham uh, you'll just give up and you'll start drinking or you'll do some, something stupid there is not in with, with these people in this state they haven't got what the strength to do it by themselves and they can't sit around waiting for hours for people to phone back and, and then not phone back and, and all that sort of stuff. People need to be, if they produce themselves, like we did at Dudley Council Plus, as homeless, as vulnerable, then something needs to be sorted out there and then. Not faffing about, making calls here and making calls there and looking. I pressed the wrong button. I don't know if I'm going to be able to link this back up, but I'm just absolutely 
Dudley Council Plus, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. But they are limited and I really don't think this person would have been able to deal with Dudley Council Plus on their own. Um, they would have walked away. Uh, something's got to change. And is he, is he going to take me again to start fighting and shouting and mouthing off to the people in power to actually get off their arses and, and do something? Stop talking about making people centred uh, healthcare and holistic approach. Stop talking about it. Do something about it now. And, all, and, and again, and this isn't going to get out very well, but these third party organisations, the well known ones, that, yes, there's some brilliant people within them. But you know what? The majority of it, the, the bosses and the, the companies themselves, it's all about their own agenda. It's about getting their own funding, ticking boxes. It's a. Oh, I'm livid, I'm sorry. Something's got to change, and if it takes me ranting and raving, I'm going to do it. I can't pussyfoot around this world of politics and bullshit anymore. Something's got to happen, and it has to happen now. I've been told that apparently a young lad killed himself off the car park in Halzo in this weekend. I wonder why that is. Has he been had mental health issues and been let down by the system? Been left on his own? That would be my money. That would be where I'd put my money. Shame on you. Shame on you people out there who earn lots of money and do fuck all for it.